one of the questions we get a lot when people are using the digital true flow grid is when they're drilling their test ports, specifically the one between the furnace and the evaporator indoor cooling coil, is we advise them to drill a hole in the furnace halfway down the side about one inch below the evaporator coil. Now normally you'll see the evaporator coil mounted right on top of the furnace. Boxed coil sitting right on top of the furnace. <clears throat> I don't advise people to drill into the evaporator coil because that could lead to spring a leak. We don't want to do that. We want to go right into the furnace about one inch down, drill right through that cabinet, midway, anywhere up in here is fine, poke a hole. Now you'll notice in through this plexiglass, more than likely there will always be a nice gap between the heat exchanger. So you don't run the risk of really getting into that heat exchanger. One thing we're also going to show you is we're actually going to destroy this heat exchanger today in this training lab. I'm going to show you how hard it is to actually put a hole in one of these new model heat exchangers. So let's just see how long it takes to get through this heat exchanger. Okay, so as we can see, it took about 15 seconds or so maybe to get through that heat exchanger, which means if we're coming into the side of that furnace, right? And we, once we punch through, we're not going to accidentally put a hole in that heat exchanger. It's very difficult to put a hole in a heat exchanger. Mm.